everybody thinks they know what a trauma is, but no one can really explain it. Go ahead and try. See if you can actually define what a trauma is and what qualifies as a trauma. This is a question that even confounds doctors, scientists, psychologists, because they recognize there's no universal event that causes everyone trauma. Each person tends to respond differently to events and experiences. Uh, Some people could be traumatized by just a fly landing on them, whereas another person is traumatized by what seems universally to be a big event, like losing a job or uh, losing a relative, whereas other people are not necessarily traumatized by those same events. So what really is a trauma exactly? Well, I'm going to define it for you because this is my specialty. A trauma is anything that causes distress and an undesired change to a person or organism. A trauma is anything that causes distress and an undesired change. Now, this is a comprehensive and revolutionary understanding. And let me explain to you why. By being able to break it down to its core components, we can actually reverse engineer what causes a trauma in a person and therefore avoid being traumatized by events. Because it's not the event that causes the trauma, but it's how we process that event. So the three components are distress, change, and it being an undesired change. It has to have all three components to be a trauma. For instance, if it causes distress, but it's a desirable change, then that's not a trauma. Like working out causes my muscles distress and a change, but it's a desired change. If it causes undesirable change, but no distress, like if you get downgraded seats at a concert, but you're like, that's fine because I just want to enjoy the concert. Because it causes no distress, the undesirable change is not a trauma. If it causes no change, but there is distress, like you're trying to get a hold of a relative and they're not picking up and you're feeling distress, but then you find out they were just in the shower. Since everything goes back to normal, no change equals no trauma. It needs all three components. So here's what's beautiful about that. You can avoid being traumatized by virtually any event, as long as you don't allow it to distress you or change you. But if it does change you, you make sure it's a desirable change.